What's up, y'all? Junior here with Custom Offsets TV on YouTube. Today, we've got a revamped, updated I never knew for you with a little more for you since Sean's video from like over three years ago. Today, we've got I never knew, read my lips. So the biggest thing people are gonna be looking for when they're getting new wheels is the lip size. It's some age old competition that dudes just need to have the biggest of everything. The biggest house, the biggest... <laughs> yeah, boy. And biggest wheel lips is no different. So why is it that the sweet 20 by 10s you just ordered hardly have a lip, but the photo online and the image in your head had like this insane lip? Those wheels that you're thinking of and seeing online are more than likely a 14 wide or maybe even a 16 wide if you're getting too deep into the gram. These wheels having more width means that there's gonna be more lip. Since it's the same spoke design, that width has to go somewhere. That's how you get more front lip and more back barrel. Just a wider wheel is gonna have more, more material, that's where it goes. So when you order an 18 by nine or even a 20 by 10, you can't expect to see the same lip that you would on your big boys. What you'll see with your smaller sizes is, well, smaller lip. Would you imagine that? People a lot of times will order a nine wide, hoping it's gonna look like the 14 wide in the photos, but they're kind of like expecting to be like a 10 wide, then they end up with their nine wide on the front porch and they're just kind of disappointed. It just needs to be accepted that a nine inch wide wheel more or less isn't gonna really be a lip wheel. As a general rule of thumb, here's what you can expect from your different wheel widths. A nine wide is gonna have around like a one inch lip, 10 wides will have a two to three inch lip, 12 wides will have a four to six inch lip, and 14 wides will have like a six to eight inch lip, and then 16 wides will just have all of the lip. Obviously different wheel designs are gonna have more or less, but that's kind of around what you can expect. People ask if diameter matters with wheel lips and the answer is no. A 17 by nine, 18 by nine, and 20 by nine in the same wheel model will have the same size lip since it goes based off of the width of the wheel to determine where the face of the spoke sits and so on. Also know that to get a bigger wheel lip, that means you're gonna be going with a wider wheel. A wider wheel means more fitment issues. Chasing a bigger lip is gonna be the difference in no lip and throwing 18 by nines on your stock suspension or going for the lip, wanting eight inches of it, and then needing seven inches of a lift kit to fit those 14 wides with the eight inch lift under your truck. So as much as it's a numbers game for the width and lip size, there's also a numbers game of how high you need to lift your truck to fit all of these different combinations. What's going on guys? It's your boy, Let's Junior. Shh, shh. you screwed me up, I'm almost, I'm almost done so I can go play basketball. That too. Luckily, we have a huge gallery showing you hundreds of setups on thousands of trucks. Make sure you check it out to know exactly what's gonna fit and what you're getting yourself into, kind of no matter what the setup is. There's pictures of these wheels. You'll know what you're getting before you get it. It's kind of neat. Customoffsets.com slash gallery, like right there. Now here's the number one question. How can you get the most lip for the cheapest price? Is there a certain wheel size that has like the best lip to price ratio? And honestly, it's all up to the style design and what you want your build to look like. There's companies like Ultra offering the Ultra Hunter and their 10 inch wide wheel has almost a six inch lip, which is pretty impressive to be honest. They got that by having a drastic curved back. So the edge of the spoke like curls away from the lip as much as possible, just giving you more lip. Other wheels like the Archon Lincoln offer an endless lip, which means that there's really no ridge or break between the spokes. So even though the lip to the front of the spoke may be three or four inches, the perceived lip between the spokes goes the whole width of the wheel, making it look potentially way bigger than it actually is. All right, guys, that's all I think I have for you. Hopefully that helped. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And of course, if you're looking to pick up a set of wheels with or without a big old lip, we got them. Customoffsets.com. Peace. Thank you.